Hey Nick, it's Adrian here. I uh, got your sight markers done and I just wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you how to hook them up. It's, uh, it's not very complicated, but um, just so you know what, you're, uh, <laughs> what to expect, so to speak. So I uh, got your sight markers here with the, uh, the smoked vinyl. Um, if we turn them around, you can uh, see uh, nothing pretty, basically. I, <laughs> I can't really make these pretty since the only way to open them is, is to cut them open and then glue them back shut. But, um, um, you know, of course, you're gonna, not going to see any of that once you install them. Um, you won't be needing a bulb socket or the wire that uh, goes to them now. You can just let that hang down in the, uh, in the fender uh, space there um, since these are going to be powered by, uh, by their own harness. Uh, for that reason, I have uh, used some tape to completely uh, uh, seal off this opening so you don't get any dirt or, or moisture in there. Uh, and then, of course, the wire is coming out that will meet up with the harness. Now, um, this is the um, connector and the way to hook these up is um, because the wiring for the sight marker goes through a little grommet in the sight that leads to the um, uh, trunk space. So um, the, the, the easiest way to do this is to make a little slit with a knife in that grommet and just push this connector through and then have it meet up with the, uh, with the corresponding wire here on the harness. Um, the, um, the wire actually is, uh, by the way, longer than you see here because I have it kind of zip tied together. So if need be, you can cut the zip tie and, and uh, get a little more slack. Uh, I don't think it will be necessary, but um, uh, I didn't measure it out in my car, so just in case. Um, just a little bit about the harness. Um, this is going to sit in between um, your car's harness and, um, let me connect, disconnect it here, uh, the car's harness and uh, the bulb socket of your outer light. So right now your car's harness, which looks something like this, um, is plugged directly into the bulb socket of the outer uh, light on either side. So what you're going to do is you're going to unplug it from the bulb socket and plug it in this guy, oops, like so. And then the other end, uh, you guessed it, is what goes back in the bulb socket. So it basically goes in between there and uh, uh, that way uh, we can make it plug and play and uh, get all the power we need to power this, this new sight marker. So let me plug it back in here. These connectors, uh, there's a little clip on uh, the harness side and a little notch on the sight marker side. It only fits one way and click it into place. Don't never pull on the wires obviously because it's uh <coughs> excuse me it's um not too hard to uh to uh pull one of those pins out and then you got to deal with that so just be careful with that so um with all that i have them hooked up now so we'll do a quick demonstration uh i'll start with the um um uh, running lights here and that looks like this. Now, um, the issue I was having was uh, with uh, clearing a space for these um, uh, sight, uh, uh, LED strips. So the, 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 the lens of these sight markers, it has a reflective surface on the back of it. And uh, you have to basically grind that away to make the, uh, the outline of these strips uh, visible. Otherwise, it will just be diffused through the whole um, sight marker, which is, of course, not what we're after. So um, it's a little tricky, and you will see that there's you can still see a glow around it. That's just because the light does diffuse into that reflective area and uh, and shows it that way. But um, you know, unfortunately, I've been looking for someone who would make uh, custom uh, sight mark lenses for me, uh, preferably uh, clear ones. But uh, so far, I haven't had any luck unless I'm willing to order a couple of hundred, which uh, is a little much, of course. So anyway, that is that. Then, um, so if you're braking or blinking, and uh, I don't know if I um, mentioned that, but uh, the brake and blink, the brake and blink signal uh, is uh, one and the same wire in the back of the cobalt. So uh, although we call these uh, switchback blinkers, uh, they're also, uh, they, they will also come on when you're braking. Uh, there is a way around that, but that involves a lot of wiring on your part. So uh, if, you're, if you're interested, let me know. But 
I, th I don't think it's a big deal. So uh, breaking and blinking is the brighter setting and that looks like this. And then of course the switchback function comes into play when we combine the two. So if you have your running lights on and you're blinking or breaking, uh, then you will see that in between uh, the, the blinks, if that's a word, uh, the, the um, running lights actually turn off. So you can see it become brighter like this and then it goes out completely to make it much more visible uh, as you're blinking and then when you stop blinking uh, the running lights come back on so that's the functionality um, and oh by the way I forgot to mention on the harness here uh, so you have a uh, the box with the white label the diode dynamic one is the driver for these uh, LED strips and then the box on the other side is uh, just to protect the, the little circuit that um, basically takes care of the, um, the switchback function. There's a little um, electronic circuit in there uh, to protect it. So that is it. Uh, I'll throw a piece of paper in the box with all of my contact information. Uh, if you have any questions or issues when you're installing them or down the road, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, it has my uh, cell phone number on there. Uh, text is the quickest way to reach me if uh, you have something urgent. Um, and uh, I want to say don't uh, be shy uh, if you have any questions or any issues. Uh, I do this as a hobby more than anything else. And uh, uh, my main um, goal in making these, uh, these lights is uh, to uh, make sure that the customer gets exactly what they want and that it, lo it works the, as advertised for a long uh, time so um, uh, I got 12 month warranty on all of this so um, let me know if anything uh, stops working I don't think so I mean these these products they're made right here in Missouri uh, which is the only car lighting product that I know of at least that uh, that is completely and totally made in the US and uh, and you can tell I mean the quality is uh, has been awesome for the 18 plus months now that I've been using uh, their products so uh, sorry for the long-winded story but just wanted to go through a few things um, uh, thanks for your business and I hope you'll enjoy these for a long time all right thanks Nick bye